We first brought to the news yesterday, Georgia Southern has a new head women's basketball coach. Kip Drown introduced in Statesboro early this afternoon. I was just blown away when I came down for my interview a couple weeks ago with the passion that people had for this university. I went home and I told Jen, I said, you know, this is where I want to be. Drown spent the past decade at Colorado State Pueblo, where he led the Lady Thunderwolves to nearly 200 wins. He coached in the Peach State from 1994 to 2001 when he led Georgia Southwestern, posting 520 win seasons in that seven-year span. He's been successful every step of the way, expects the same in the borough. This community expects to win. They want to win. And I told him, I said, I don't want to go anywhere that doesn't want to win. I don't want to go anywhere that doesn't want to have a passion for being the very best they can be. So to come here with this, to get this kind of tradition, which is hard to find, and that kind of passion, which is hard to find, yeah, that's, that's a dream job. Our young people want to have an opportunity to get a championship. They want to get a degree. And when they leave this institution, we want them to be leaders in the communities that they go back in. And I can promise you that through this search, we've uncovered a gentleman that's going to come here and do that with our basketball program. The Drown says he's set to get to work right away. He replaces Chris Vozab, who was fired after three seasons and a 23-68 and record. Eagles football team in its second week of spring practices. Glenn Academy grad James Dean, already a senior. How about that? He's bounced around a few positions with GSU over the years, linebacker, running back, and well now he's solely focused on tight end. He's made some big changes this past offseason, ready to make an impact with the potent offense at Georgia Southern. Uh, just get better. I put on some weight in the off season. I want to get used to that. Um, it's, it's different carrying around 20 more pounds. The thing we got to do is keep that weight on him. He is a really good football player. Not just uh, offensively, he is a great kicking game player. And, uh, we need him to be in the kind of condition where he can play 50, 60 snaps a game instead of 20 or 30. Dean and the Eagles will be back on the field tomorrow afternoon. Now, spring practices conclude April 18th with the annual blue and white game. The Savannah Chatham All-Star basketball games are back after a three-year hiatus. Tomorrow at 5.30 and 7 p.m., Chatham County's top girls and boys seniors will tip off in the All-Star Classic. It's at Savannah High School. Beach High's Alofimi Gordon and Country Day's Dale Parker will coach the girls teams, which will be a full mix of public and private school players. Jenkins High School State Champion Coach Bakari Bryant will lead a boys team against Islands Coach Carl DeMossi. Admission five bucks. Once again, game starting at 5.30 at Savannah High School. Little high school baseball at Grayson Stadium. Calvary playing host to Cac Claxton. Former Savannah Chatham AD Mark Stroud, former BC coach, helping out the Tigers. Austin Beasley up the middle for Claxton. Wyatt Sapp is in first run of the game, 1-0. They added another on a wild pitch. They led 2-0. Caleb Hill buckled up after that. Seven innings pitch, seven strikeouts for the Cavs. Bat started working finally in the fifth. Cavs put up a four spot. Harrison Bo Cook with the hit. David Townsend with a couple of hits on the night. 4-2 final. Calvary getting that win over Claxton in high school baseball. All right. A busy night. Very sports. busy night. Mm -hmm. Those are the funnest. Yes. The most fun, I should say. <laughs>